radiation only represents 2% of man-made emissions. However, it's very important to work on that and uh, we at Airbus have been uh, very proactive in terms of uh, defining and implementing technologies in order to improve the fuel efficiency of our aircraft. The goal was to gain 1.5% per year until 2020 in terms of fuel efficiency and we are well on track to deliver these savings. Quite interestingly, since the A380, we are not only focusing on fuel efficiency, but also on noise, external noise and internal noise. And the 380 is one of the quietest aircraft in the world. For the 350, we went one step beyond. We introduced latest technologies in terms of materials, like carbon. We have worked on the shape of the wing in cruise in order to adapt the shape of the wing to the cruise status and reduce the fuel consumption. And we have introduced also other technologies in terms of actually controlling the flight of the aircraft. So overall, with the 350, we're able to bring a 25% step change against previous generation of long-range aircraft. Delivering the very challenging environmental targets for aviation is not just about introducing new aircraft like the A380 and the 350. It's also working on incremental innovations of our existing product line. One great example is the A320 NEO. By introducing latest technology engines and also upgrading the wing, we're able to deliver a 15% fuel saving compared to the existing generation of A320 aircraft. If you look at the current order book and the effect this will have on future deliveries, there will be a tremendous effect in terms of benefits for the environment.